Do you know why couples drift and become emotionally distant apart and sometimes even lead to divorce? It should not be, but it happens. Couples do drift apart. Drifting means a slow process of an emotional distance. It is the most dangerous and subtle issues couples who have married for a long time can ever face because you may not know that is taking place. Drifting slowly erodes the foundation of the marriage. I'm Kwame Frimpong, an associate licensed professional counselor, and I make mental health and relationship improvement videos. Today, I want to talk to you about top five signs that your marriage may be drifting. Number one, emotional distance. See, when, 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 when couples start the journey, they are like this, they are together like that. But over time, they can begin to drift apart and go in their separate ways. They may be living together, live in the same house and talk, but they may be drifting apart. When you are drifting emotionally, you will experience feelings of dissatisfied. You, you realize that you are not happy, you are not satisfied in the relationship anymore. Resentment kick in and you begin to experience cold toward each other. And you realize that the husband wants to spend time alone and the wife wants to spend time by herself. Weezing in the marriage collapses. We ism. The we that we once we once had collapses and I is him. We become I, I, I. The I in us becomes more powerful, more stronger, and the we in us begin to suffer. Number two, second sign, sexless marriage and the lack of intimacy. You realize that there is no sex in the marriage anymore. Something God designed, a gift God gave to married couples you don't experience that gift of sexuality anymore and the intimacy in the marriage is gone once you see that you realize it's a sign that the marriage is coming to a stop number three a constant argument when you see, you begin to see that you are always arguing the husband anything the husband say the wife doesn't understand it's argument Whatever the wife says, the husband is angry. You don't agree. You don't agree about anything that you talk about. Everything is argument. It's either accusation or blaming or attacking. There is no understanding going on. If there's a constant argument in every marriage, it's possible that from time to time, we may argue about something, but a constant, the key word is constant argument, is a sign that the marriage may be drifting. Number four is the feeling of ap apathy. Apathy simply means that I don't care anymore. Once you come to a point in the marriage where you say, you know what, whether we whether we divorce, I don't care. Whatever happens, I don't care. Whether he talks to me, I don't care. Whether she, she does this, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care becomes Jesus in the marriage. Once you begin to experience that I don't care is taking over, something is wrong. And the good news is you can always turn things around. Number five, the last sign is talking but no communication. Talking is just talking, just words coming out. Communication goes deeper. In fact, the original word, the, the, the root word out of which we, which we call communication is communicate. I care, so I talk. I'm talking to somebody I care about. My choice of words, my phrases, my tone of voice, my, 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 my facial expression, my body language, all come alongside to show that I care for you, that I like us to talk. If you see that these signs are going on in your relationship, it's time to turn it around. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe because I have
great videos for you. Thank you.